fans of high quality entertainment. Guess who's back? Who? It's you. Oh. It's Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Remember oh, to I subscribe. Didn't know we were making videos and you're today. wearing quite a psychedelic shirt there, Glenn. Oh, I am. Your friends are psychedelic. We're psychedelic <laughs> clothes, I hear. I have the best uh, friends. Yes. <laughs> Grateful Dead. I'm all jazzed up today. So, we exchanged five CDs once again. We didn't exchange that one. Oh, I was going to just tell at the start. Oh. I'm going to mention something. <laughs> uh, you, you spoiled it now, Glenn. It's lovely no. to see you, Larry. It's good, it's great good. to see you, too. I just know. not so close. Anyway, yeah, I was just going to mention that because of the CD exchange, I've become a fan of Stephen Wilson, and I will become a fan of Porcupine Tree. So I bought Hand, Hand Cannot Erase. It's my favorite. And I'm really getting into this oh, one now, too. Good record. Uh, the, the Raven. Raven. That refused to sing. Yeah. And this one is good. Like, you, you know, I heard it all the way through. Yeah. It's more pop. But I think, you know, once in, like once a month I'll slap it on. It's kind of a relaxing album, kind of. I just respect them so much, I'm going to listen to it. It's well done. It's yeah. just different from what yeah. this other stuff was. And then this I just got today. That's a good album, too. Yeah. yeah they're all good. What's it called? Uh, Insurgency. 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 I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. So what, what CDs did I give you? Oh, uh, you gave me, in no particular order, The Rascals, C. I see. The Northern Pikes. I'm friends with them. Double CD. Larry's Buddies. Does that have a title, this CD? That's called Blue, Big Blue Sky. Big Blue Sky. Yeah. Um, Blue Oyster Cult's first album in, in 20 years. No, 19 years. 19 glad. years. Oh, Don't yeah, stretch the truth. Yeah. Green's Clearwater set from Woodstock live. Yeah. And my favorite artist in the world, Captain Beefheart. And this one was called The Spotlight Kid. And Glenn gave me in no particular order. Second Winter by Johnny Winter. Till Your River Runs Dry by Eric Burden. Jackson Brown for Every Man. And he gave me original master recording. No, uh, Joe Walsh, Barnstorm. And the Grateful Dead, American Pie. Beauty. <laughs> American Beauty. Yeah, I love the Bye Bye Miss American Pie. They did a good job. Yeah. Nice song. And, and I did a poll in my community a few days ago. And I asked people what they thought I would rank them or whatever. Or Oh, which one they would love the most. 12% said Jackson Brown. 16% said Joe Walsh. 8% said Johnny Winter. And Eric Burden, 7%. And 58% think I'd love The Grateful Dead the most. Wow. Boy, were they wrong. Anyway. That's crazy. So we're going to rank or show which ones uh, we like. Number Great, five first, five. Glenn. You want me to go first? <sighs> first of all, Larry, let me say, this was the best set of five that you've given me so far. Love them all, so number five is no insult. How many of those would you want to get? Um, I would want to get all of them, I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so which one did you hate? <laughs> well, I didn't hate any of them, but Northern Pikes is going number five, but I really like it. Yeah. It's great. It's yeah. great Canadian, I, I call it Roots Rock. It's, it's you know, it's yeah, it's great guitar. And, and this was the album the of vocals. Brian Poffin, who sang She Ain't Pretty later on. Yeah. At this point, he was just playing the guitar. So at that point, they just had two really good singers, yeah. and then they add, and then Brian Poffin started to sing. So they had three friggin' well, great yeah, singers. Yeah, they're uh, yeah, they're great vocally and musically. I mean, yeah. the guitars, I love the guitar work in yeah. the album, and yeah, I think they're a really good band. Did, I, did I, you I, remember hearing I, any of the radio no, hits? No, not yeah. really. I, I yeah. listen to the radio a lot in the last thirty years. So, but um, yeah, it's number five. But really, it's they're all pretty much tied for one and one A. And, one B and one C. Okay. My okay, I got my eyes closed. My fifth place is it was good. I what you know really Glenn, you give me I don't think I there's has there ever been an album like a oh, there, oh the uh the last time that sixties band. 
Oh, the, I, the, 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 okay. the Bo Brommels. Yeah, they were probably okay. been the most disappointing yeah. one. But it I wasn't saw. bad. Yeah. Number five, it's not bad, Glenn, I like it, is Eric Burden. Okay. That's this is your Walsh. <laughs> um, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> I think it's Joe Walsh. There, it is. Yeah. Yeah. there it is. It's Eric Bur Burton sings Joe Walsh. He sings great. For yeah. He, uh, lots of, like, he's really into it. Yeah. The only thing, and the band was great. The songs were good. Some yeah. songs I like more than others. Um, Water was great. Devil and Jesus was yeah, great. Water's great. And uh, I like the, um, it's the one when he does the, uh, he does parts of that song. River is Rising. In My Time of Dying, he puts some of the lyrics from that in yeah. there's one song. Yeah. I get confused with, with, with what is what, but overall. And the other thing I, I kind of wish is, like I said, the band was great. I wish there were more solos and stuff in yeah. it. Yeah, It was more him just singing. Mm -hmm. But I would give this, i give it a 7 out of 10. It was very good. Yeah. Thank you. I don't dislike it. Oh, here. Can I, I'll give you that back. Thank you. Okay. My number four, Captain Beefheart. I love it. It's good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I, I love, I'm a fan now. I, yeah. Everything yeah. that I put on now I like. Yeah. Before it was taking yeah. me a while. That album by Captain Beefheart fans is kind of, not. but I think it's, you know, it's not as good as his, his better albums, but I think it's a good album. I agree. Well, I want, yeah. uh, I really want Clear Spot. Yeah. And the only way I can find it is to buy a twofer with this album and Clear Spot yeah. on it. Yeah. So I'm going to order that. Yeah. And then I'll have both of them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Beefheart yeah. is awesome now. I mean, yeah. that's, the, that's the best thing I've gotten out of all these things so far is to become a big Beefheart fan. Okay. Number four. One of your favorite albums ever. It's over here, Glenn. Oh. Oh, jeez. I man. like it. I used to be into uh, James Taylor in Can the 70s. Can you turn it off while I choke? <laughs> I used to be like into James Taylor in yeah. the 70s. Uh, JT and Flag were the mm -hmm. two albums I bought. I was like a fan, right? And then the next album came out and it was kind of mm -hmm. mediocre, so I lost interest. So I like this kind of music. It's just not my favorite, but he's excellent. Take It Easy is just as good as the Eagles version. David uh, Lindley's guitar playing in that album. I was going to mention that through. all throughout. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. These Days is awesome. Great song, yeah. He wrote uh, that when he was 16. Wow. Redneck Friend is upbeat and really good. Great guitar work in it. And then I love how Sing My Songs to Me goes into For, Forever, every, man. For every Man. And then at the end of For Every Man, there's a little bit of a drum yeah, thing. And so, then David Lindley just plays this little... Yeah guitar solo to that. So I would give this 8 out of 10 for me. Oh, yeah, I think it's an incredible album. Okay. Oh, I didn't give you that bad. Number 3, which you guess would be, oh, I'm not going to say. I'll save that. The Amazing Creedence Clearwater Revival at Woodstock. This album is fan freaking tastic yeah. I, I played it quite a few times yeah. and uh, love love it love it love it the, the, the top three are all tied for number one really and the other ones are a number two mm -hmm. this is uh, amazing yeah. I'm definitely getting this and John Fogarty I buy it on vinyl yeah. or on CD and John Fogarty it could have been part of the Woodstock movie but he didn't think the band performed yeah. well enough but they obviously did great rock and the sound quality is great yeah. it's just really good yeah. it's better than the Creedence Clearwater Live yeah yeah album yeah oh my my number three Glenn okay yeah Truck and yeah, I liked it. Like what? What? How can you not like it? it's printing on here so bad? It's very acoustic. It's, I like all of the songs, but oh, the their harmonies are just gorgeous. On um, what? The, like there's one song in particular, uh, "Addicts of My Life." Is that yeah, the one? Addicts of yeah, my life, probably. Yeah. And then it's funny. I was listening to it with headphones, and this one song came on. And I think, oh my God, that's so good. And it's that Ripple song. Ripple. So yeah. My so, favorite oh, song that's Glenn's favorite time. song. It yeah. is. Yeah. Lyrically, it's uh, just beautiful. Yeah, Candyman. Yeah, it's just... Isn't oh, that oh. a nice sounding recording too? Yeah, yeah. Nine out of ten. 
nine out of ten for me. Yeah, thank. That's good. Not my yep. favorite Grateful Dead album. Okay, my number two. You ready for this, Larry? No, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. Yeah. The Rascals, what a great album. You know what? See, when oh. I I give you some albums, it's like I don't I, I know them, but I haven't played them. It's like certain songs I like. Too. Yeah. This album, I sometimes I check out what I gave you, like yeah. on Spotify. Mm -hmm. I listen to that all the way through a couple of times. It's like, oh my god, the whole album is great. like and yeah. it's uh mix of different genres yeah. kind of yeah no it's awesome and isn't that first song awesome first song is awesome starts yeah. off great sees amazing song this is uh yeah buying this for sure yeah yeah another one yeah that's going to be in my catalog or my collection for sure great the rascals i want it back glenn oh man jesus i thought i could get away with nice it. nice try he does that so okay oh number two glenn Oh. Wake up! Yeah. I love Four Side the most. Yeah, <laughs> it's good with headphones. When it, eh? when it was on vinyl, side, side I was four, third, third side, yeah. Side four was there was nothing. Yeah. What can there's so much killer guitar work on this? I will say sometimes Johnny Winder isn't the greatest singer. Oh, I don't but sometimes, sometimes, yeah. but sometimes he's a bit off yeah. too with. The, but it doesn't matter because of the music. Uh, when you listen to that with headphones, there's a few times when the guitar goes back and forth between the speakers. Yeah, and stuff too, I, I can't even name any songs. It's just all good. Yeah. Highway 61 Revisited yeah. is killer. Uh, the old rock and roll songs he does well. Yeah, Slipping and Slide and Slipping yeah. and Slide. And so, uh, Ooh, 10 out of 10, I guess. Can't say anything bad awesome. about it. Did you listen to the live? No, CD? no, I never do. I've got so much to listen to, Glenn. I never check out the bonus stuff. I should have, though. Maybe I'll check it out on Spotify. I've heard it's really good. So, it's, yeah. It is good. My number one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Blew I know. me away. I know. Every note blew yeah. me away on every song. Yeah. There's not a week track yeah yeah for a it, band that hasn't put an album out for 20 years yeah. 19 no 19 God, 20 years, years two months i think it is i know yeah like when i picked it up this is just as good as any album in yeah. the catalog like when i picked it up they have a new member too who's i forget his name here but they're the other ones are all whatever but he's one one of the the other guitarists and he sings a couple of songs and wrote a couple songs but the only reason this isn't in my collection yet is because I'm cheap and I was just listening yeah. to yours. Now well, when I go home yeah. and I don't have it anymore, I'll be buying it. But too. like I said, I'm a big <laughs> Blue Oyster Cult fan, but I wasn't that, you know, when I bought it, I was like, okay, this will be okay. And yeah, because you like, never think... No, it's that, better than okay. Like usually at, at, when bands get back together and do this stuff, it's they, can, they can't yeah. compete with their good stuff, right? Yeah. But this is just as good. Yeah. It and there's even there. like that country-ish song on it. and yeah, fantastic album. Yeah. Like, Excellent. When did this come out? A couple of years ago. Yeah, it was that would 19, have been my number one album of 20, the year, I think. I said 19. 2020. Yeah, that would have been my number one album of the year in 2020 if I had it. Yeah. Well, Larry, this is one of my top ten albums of all time. Oh. I bought it already. Our friend Paul from Fit to Be Tied is gonna be so proud of you. Yeah, and this is a Japanese. It sounds great too. It's oh yeah, Japanese. that's a good yeah, the Japanese yeah. version. Yeah. What a beautiful. Gee, one. I I knew Joe Walsh was great. You know, Rocky Mount. You know, all of his hit songs, and I've heard a bit of his albums in the past. So I knew he was a great guitarist. This is beyond great. Like he he was he's like, uh, and it, a lot of it's kind of serious too. And, yeah. And uh, did you know what Joe Walsh what's is? What's that one song? A great acoustic guitar player. Oh my god, the one song, I'll Tell the World. Yeah, I'll Tell the World. Oh my god, Molly's got to hear that song. Uh, but Bird Call Morning? Everything. Oh. Everything. And don't you like that? It's kind of a dreamy, through the whole album, it's kind of dreamy and flows. Yeah, it's, it's kind of almost like one song. 
yeah. too. Like, Turn to Stone is like a classic Joe Walsh song, but it almost doesn't fit the album because it it just mm -hmm. it, it. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Like yeah. it doesn't it doesn't fit the whole kind of dreamy. Yeah. It just all and, breaks and I guess stronger. he re-recorded re it, but he says yeah. he prefers this yeah. version. And yeah, it's the the guitars are so meaty and uh, yeah and dirty on that song. But well, I'm glad here you we that one. here we go. Is it's like we go, yeah. the first song when I heard it, it's like oh my god this guy is way better than yeah. I thought. It's a beautiful album. If you haven't heard Joe Walsh Barnstorm, Mother says, right yeah, and coming down is a nice yeah. closer. Fantastic! I'm glad you got a kiss it for climb. number one. Kiss it. Oh, that's good. Kiss it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that. You're turning me on. Uh, did you get yours back? I got mine back. I was trying to steal it. I was trying to switch it Let's with see, your... hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Let me check and make sure the discs are in there. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. You never know. So I I thought... What, oh, did, yeah. We gotta figure out did you write out? I did, not I sent it to you and then I forgot, so I'm going to go off the top of my head. I thought that you would like this best, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I yeah, you did, right. yeah. I thought you would like this one worst, and I think I got that. But I thought you would like this, I think, third, mm -hmm. and it was second. I thought, I thought you'd like this one second, but it was like last or fourth. And I thought you'd like Grateful Dead. Yeah. I think I put Blue Easter Cult last on your Yeah, you did. Yeah. Well, not that you wouldn't like it. I, I did think, oh, I gave him some good albums you this did. time. You did. Give me five. And I think, I don't, I think Captain Beefheart was like in third or yeah. third. Credence was first, I yes, believe. Credence was Rascals first. was second. Yeah. And Northern Pikes were near the bottom, number yeah. four, I think. So, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really they doesn't were all matter. Good. They were 10 solid albums, I think. Yeah. So in our next video, we get to do this all again. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to Glenn's channel, even, channel though, right even though he's wearing subscribe. a very psychedelic shirt. Yes, please. <laughs>